If you have Amazon Prime and you use Twitch a lot, you may know that you get access to a lot of free games. They give you free games all the time for some other platforms like GOG and Epic Games. Now, unfortunately, the Steam Deck doesn't support those two storefronts natively. You have to use some additional apps to do so. And today we're going to be talking about two options. One of them is going to be one that I've been using for a long time. The second one's going to be one that I learned of recently and am really liking so far. So today we're going to talk about the best two ways to get all those other games on here. We're going to compare the, those two different ways, see what I like about one, what I like about the other, and then which one I'm going to be using as my main way to play those other games going forward. So without further ado, let me get this thing plugged into the dock and we'll walk you through the process of installing them, walk you through how they work, and we'll see which one we like. Let's hop into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and go to desktop mode. Now I've got this thing plugged into my dock, so I'm gonna be using my mouse for this, but you would just press your Steam menu button, go ahead, press power, and we're gonna go ahead and switch to the desktop. Okay, so now that we're on the desktop, we can actually see the first option we're gonna be talking about, and that's Heroics Games Launcher. I've been using this one basically since I've had the deck and it's been really great for me so it's really super easy to install if we go ahead and go to the discover and we're going to just go ahead and search heroic when you do that you'll see heroic games launcher you just go ahead and open that up and you would install it i've already got it installed so i don't have to do that super easy to get installed which is really really nice now if we go ahead and we launch it we can see all of the libraries that i have in heroic so I currently have three libraries installed. If we go ahead and go to manage accounts, we can see I have Epic, I have GOG, and I have Amazon. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, these are all three of the stores that Amazon gives you free games for as part of the Amazon Prime, Gaming with Prime, that whole certain situation. So this Heroic is awesome for that because all of those free games that you're given, this gives you the access to be able to play those, which is really, really nice. And as you can see, I've got quite a few games in here. I got 758 games. Having access to all those is really nice. I've installed two games from here, which is also great. And you know, it's been really nice to me. The only thing with Heroic is that because it manages its own wine, which is like a compatibility layer, sometimes I do run into some issues and sometimes games don't launch properly, but that is super minimal. And overall, it's been pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about it is that to install the games, I have to go into desktop mode to access the, this interface and get them installed. I could add the interface as a non-Steam game onto Steam and try to do that in gaming mode, but it's really, really clunky and I don't like it and it doesn't do the scaling very well. This is a lot easier for me, but I still have to get out, access another interface and try to get that installed. So that's the main downside for me with Heroic. Sometimes I do run into issues, but it is pretty minimal. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the second option, which is a little bit more complicated to get initially set up. But once you do that, it is a lot easier to get games installed. And that second option is the junk store. Now this is one that I've learned about this week and they've added a lot of functionality in the past year, including adding GOG compatibility. Although there is a little bit of a caveat to that and we'll go over that once we go through that whole section. But the junk store is a plugin, which is a little bit different than Heroic, which is an application. It being a plugin means that you can access it in gaming mode using something like Decky Loader, which I'm gonna go through the whole installation process for as well. And it makes it a lot easier because you never have to leave gaming mode. Um, sometimes using desktop mode is not the easiest in handheld and having everything accessible inside of gaming mode makes things really, really easy and the plugins are just awesome. So first of all, we're gonna have to install Decky Loader. Now, if you didn't know, Decky Loader is an entire plugin launcher that's used for the Steam Deck and it allows you to do a ton of things. I've talked about a few of these in the past, but one of them is to install plugins like the Junk Store. So this is easiest to do if you have a mouse and keyboard plugged into your Steam Deck. It's gonna make it quite a bit easier um, you're also going to have to make sure that you have a password set up on your Steam Deck. If you do not have a password yet set up on your Steam Deck, you're going to have to go ahead and do that. So you're going to open up the console. You're going to go ahead and type in P-A-S-S-W-D. And it's going to ask you to go ahead and set up a admin password. So please make sure you do that first. Once you do that, you can go ahead and come back to the Decular GitHub. 
we're going to go ahead and download the installer file. So we're just going to click, click on that. It's going to go ahead and download. And if you've been using the Steam Deck for any period of time, you'll know that when it downloads something, it's going to add the dot download to the end here. We don't want that. We want it to be just dot desktop. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to move this to my desktop just to make things a little bit easier. I'm going to overwrite the one that's there because I've already done all this. Now, if we go back to our desktop and we're going to go ahead and do install decky, which would have popped up, it's going to go ahead and launch the console. It's going to ask for that password that we set up earlier. And I already have it installed, so it's just going to ask me to update. But if you had not installed it, it's going to walk you through the whole process of getting this thing installed. It goes by super, super quick. I'm just going to press OK to update to the latest release, although I believe I'm already on the latest release. And that's all done. Now, before we hop back into gaming mode, we're actually going to install something else that's going to manage Proton for us because by default, the plugin does not um, manage anything Proton related. Now there's a couple ways that you can manage Proton GE, but one of the easier ways is to use Proton Up QT. So we're gonna grab that from the Discover store. You just search Proton Up. We can go ahead and grab that one. And I already have it installed again. So super simple here. I'm just gonna go ahead and launch it. Now here you can go ahead and see that we have multiple versions of Proton already installed. You can go ahead and add new versions by grabbing them from here. And then if you go ahead and click install, it will go ahead and install those new versions. So it is currently updating the Proton GE to the nine, version nine, I'm on 7.35 here. The main thing to keep in mind is you just want to try to have the most updated version of Proton GE installed whenever you're launching any of your games. All right, so now we can go ahead and go back into gaming mode and we're going to go ahead and take a look at Decky Loader and get Junk Store loaded up and installed. All right, so now that we're back into gaming mode, we're going to go ahead and launch our side button here for our quick settings. We're going to go down and we're going to see that decky loader is here again i didn't have to install it so i have a whole bunch of plugins that i'm already using but we're going to go ahead and install the junk store so we're going to go to the store icon here and we're just going to type junk and we're going to go ahead and install that and now the junk store is here now we can go ahead and open this up and we're going to go to the about first what we're going to do is we're going to go to dependencies and we're going to install dependencies. And once we're done, these two buttons will gray out, which means that we have them installed, which is really, really nice. Now we can go ahead and we can go back. And we're going to go back to our side here and now we can click on games. All right, once we're in here, what we can do is we can go ahead and log in. So we're going to log in here. It's going to bring me to a login page. And I'm going to log in here quickly. So now that we're logged in, we can go ahead and hit this cog wheel. This will allow us to change a few settings. So first is the offline mode. This is going to allow you to play in games without an internet connection. I am typically using my Steam Deck in an offline situation, so I want that on. I'm also gonna change the install location from the SSD to the micro SD because that's where I save most of my games. And then we're just gonna go ahead and save that configuration. Now, if your games aren't appearing here automatically, what you have to do is just hit this button here and do refresh games list. It will go ahead and refresh and import all of the games that you have on Epic. And now I have all of my Epic games here. Now you may be asking, okay, what about GOG as you mentioned earlier? Now, unfortunately, GOG is locked behind a payment for the junk store. They mentioned that, you know, having this thing set up takes a lot of work, takes a lot of effort. It's a one-time small payment. And so far, I think it's worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get that installed. So we're actually gonna have to go back into desktop mode to get that installed. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, so there's two ways to get the extension. You can either do it through their Patreon or through their Ko-Fi store. It's the same price on either, so choose whichever method you prefer. I did it through the Ko-Fi store. Once you go ahead and purchase it, it's gonna give you instructions. I've already downloaded the files here, so we're just gonna go ahead and go through this process. Once you go ahead and get it purchased and downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and right click on this. We're gonna to go to extract, we're gonna extract it to, we're gonna hit home. We're going to go to homebrew. We're going to go to data. And then we find junk store and we're gonna go ahead and extract it here. Once that's completed, we can go ahead and return to gaming mode and we should have GOG appearing there. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, now that we're back in the Steam Deck gaming mode, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our junk store plugin. So we're just gonna go to plugins, go to the junk store. Now we're gonna have to reinstall those dependencies we did earlier. So we're gonna go to about, we're gonna go to dependencies. We're gonna reinstall the dependencies here. The reason we have to reinstall the dependencies is it's also gonna be now installing the GOG dependency, which is important for us. Awesome, so now we're good. We can go ahead and we can go back. We can go back again. We go back to our plugin. Now we click on games. And now just let me log in quickly to GOG. So give me one sec. And now that we're all logged in, I have all of my GOG games. Now we can do the same thing that we did with Epic. We can go ahead and change our default installation location to the micro SD. And there we go. I personally use GOG a lot. I like the fact that it's DRM free. I like supporting DRM free projects like this. I try to buy CD Projekt Red games directly through GOG because it just supports them a little bit more directly which is really nice, but now I have access to all these games. Now, again, the biggest difference between Heroic and the Junk Store is being able to install these games directly within the gaming Steam Deck interface, not having to go to desktop mode. So let's go ahead and install something nice and small like BitTrip Runner. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. And we're all good. We can go ahead and launch the game directly from a Junk Store, or it's now gonna be showing up in our Steam library and we should be good to go. And there we go, BitTrip Run is running. Super easy to go. It takes a little bit to start up for the first time because it's going to figure out some dependencies and figure out a few things. But once it's good, it's good to go. And now we can relaunch this whenever we want. We can go and go ahead and close this game. And if we go back to our library, we can now see that it is just available directly within the Steam interface. I can go ahead and grab it from here and do what I want. The nice thing is, is one of the other plugins that I use, which is the uh, Proton database, it shows that this game is a gold level of compatibility so it works really really well that's another really nice feature um, i do use quite a few plugins i will leave the plugins open here for a second if you do want to look at them if you want me to go through a little bit more in depth on all the plugins that i'm using i'm more than happy to do a video let me know down in the description but next up let's just go ahead and compare and talk about the comparisons between heroic and junk store and why i like one why i like the other one and which one i'm going to be using in the future. So let's first talk about Heroic Games. Heroic Games is a desktop application. It supports GOG, Epic Games, and Amazon Games, which is really nice. Having all three of those allows you to install basically any of the free games that you get through the Amazon Prime, Amazon Gaming situation, which is really, really nice. Heroic manages its own Proton and Wine prefixes for everything, which can be a benefit and it can also be a burden. It adds a lot more on top of there and it can cause things to just not work properly when they don't have things set up properly. And for Heroic, all of the games are installed through the Heroic interface. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Again, you have to go to desktop or you have to try to configure the Heroic as a non-Steam game to be able to use it in the gaming mode, but you are still gonna be installing games through this additional uh, window basically to be able to get anything to work. Now, Junk Store is a plugin which makes a really big difference because you can access it directly from in gaming mode on the Steam Deck. 
It only supports GOG and Epic Games. There may be a possibility for Amazon games in the future. This is something that they're constantly developing. So who knows? It may be something that they bring into the future. I don't personally use a lot of stuff from Amazon games, so it doesn't really bother me too much. But if you are looking to play Amazon games, games, then you're going to want to use Heroic. Junk Store uses Steam as a primary thing for everything. It uses Steam's Proton Management. It uses Steam for managing all your games. So it integrates really, really nicely into the Steam Deck, but they are relying entirely on Steam doing its thing, which again has its pros and cons. So far for me, it's been all good and I haven't had any issues similar to some of the launching issues that I've had with Heroic. Now, finally, which one am I gonna be using? I think I'm going to enjoy using the junk store a lot more regularly, which is what I plan on doing. Again, I did buy the GOG extension. It was relatively inexpensive and it's a great way to support people that are doing all of this work to you know, make all these things a lot easier for Joes like me who don't know how to do any kind of programming or coding. Six bucks is a drop in the bucket and I think it really, really adds to the ease of use in terms of installing games, being able to do it all in the Steam Deck interface without having to go into desktop mode is really nice. However, I am still gonna keep Heroic Games installed on my Steam Deck because if I do wanna play Amazon Games, games, I have that option. If I do wanna use it, I can still use it. They don't break one another, so you can have both of them installed and use one for some things, use one for another few things, kind of bounce between the two, no real big issue there. And it doesn't hurt to have them both installed, but again, I am gonna to try to use Junk Store as my main option. I really like having access to all my GOG games. As I mentioned, I do have quite a few GOG games and it's nice just having access to those and be able to play them on my deck where a lot of them do work really, really well. So that's a pretty cool option. Now, with all that said, I'm really curious what you guys think. Are you guys already using one of these two options? Are you looking to use one of these two options? If you are gonna be choosing one, which one are you leaning more towards? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be really, really interested. Again, I like using both. I've been using both for the last week and it's been all good. Junk Store has just really made things a lot easier and I haven't had to jump between desktop and gaming mode as much, which is always great. And wrap things up, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do wanna see any of the other videos that I do talking about the Steam Deck, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.